Hi, everybody. Oh, I got a, I got a squeaky desk. <laughs> um, all right, so <laughs> I got my I got my tea going on, queen for a day. Let's see what the tag says. Let your heart speak to others' hearts. Oh, <laughs> I had no idea that that said that, you guys. I swear. This is bedtime tea. Yogi bedtime tea. Oh, Yogi. Remember Yogi? <laughs> Last month's videos. Oh, there won't be any animals in this video because little Odin is gone. My roommate's dog, Odin. Oh, and by the way, my shirt says, breathe it all in, love it all out. Love this shirt. It's like my favorite. I wish I could find more of them. Wish I would have bought a bunch of them. But uh, so, yeah, little Odin's on a trip this weekend. He's gone. He won't be um, scratching at the door and little Yogi's not around. No little animals around right now, <laughs> but that's OK. Um, so, oh, I bought these new crystals. I'll show you guys. These are so pretty. They're like. I forget what they are. <laughs> I'll put them like, oh my gosh, they're just so beautiful. But they're, hopefully you can see them okay. Yeah, they're just so pretty. There's some kind of smoky quartz, like a phantom smoky quartz or something. Love, love, love rocks. I'll show you all my rocks, actually. <laughs> okay, so this is, oh, rose quartz. I actually got this in a rose quartz mine in South Dakota. It is gorgeous. It sits like right on top of a deck of cards, like beautifully. I'll show you. Like so. Totally charges the cards. It's so awesome. And then I've got these. Um, wanting to say, are these fluorites? I think these are fluorites. So aren't those gorgeous? I mean, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. They're so beautiful. And if you put the light behind them, they're really, really incredible. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh. And then I've got like a soulmate stone. Of course, that's got to be there, right? Double, um, double terminated. Soulmate stone. Rose quartz, more rose quartz. The darker, the better. Um, I've got, I think this is serpentine. <laughs> serpentine is kind of cool. It's really soft. Like it's real glossy. Somebody got it in Mount Shasta and gave it to me. Thank you if you're watching this. Um, um, um. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Rhodochrosite, isn't this gorgeous? If you guys don't work with rocks or know much about rocks, do some research. It's amazing what they can do for you. They're so transformative and they like, I don't know, if you got an issue, like look it up, metaphysical properties of rocks when you're needing courage or when you're needing to speak your truth or anything like that, like look up what kind of rocks help with that and have them in your pocket or have them near you or like rest them on your heart or like meditate with them. They really do help. So I have no idea what we're going to be doing today. <laughs> Just a willing participant. So, um, oh, I, Neo is over here and he's like, I want to be, I want to be in your collection because he's on my desk always. This is Neo. He is, he is the cat that I ended up leaving behind to come to Boulder. I loved him with all my heart and he did not want to go to the snow. He wanted to be left behind and he found an incredible little mommy over there in Texas. And, um, he wanted to stay with the, with the new mommy. And he wanted to play outside, and I told him, you don't know what it's like outside for a cat. Like, you know, there are so many diseases and cat fights and hawks, and he was such a sweet soul, and I was just like, you'd be a sitting duck. And then I, and when I gave him over to her, she said she'd let him outside. She had a doggy door. It was a great situation. But um, I told him, <laughs> I said, I know that you really want to be outside and run around in the grass and be free. And that's all he ever wanted. And he argued with me all the time about it. I just said, look, just promise me if you see a shadow or anything fast moving at all, then you will run underneath something. And, you know, I tried to I tried to at least help him to, you know, to watch out for himself. But he did die. He probably got taken away by a hawk. 
probably about a month and a half, two months after I left. But me and his new mom, like the whole time when he was adopted and everything, she sent me a million pictures and constant updates on him. And she was just an angel. She was just wonderful for his last his last weeks. And, uh, you know, and when that happens, it's just like, I was so happy for him. Are you kidding me? Like, that's nothing to be sad about because he's like, he was so happy to be, he was like this rebellious teenager the whole time I had him just like, I want to go outside and play. And I'm like, no, it's dangerous out there. No, I want to go outside and play. I don't care. You know? So anyway, he got his wish and he's happy and someday he'll come back to me in another body, but, um, I'm not in the situation to have an animal right now. So that's just fine with me and he'll come back when he's supposed to all right enough chatting Jeez. okay what do we want to i think we want to oh i just got masculine all right i guess we'll start with the masculine so what i'm seeing what i'm seeing is these guys have really, um, yes, it seemed like a slow process, but these guys seriously have been doing a lot of work behind the scenes, a lot of work to straighten their shit out. Seriously. They, um, they're get, they're dropping down into their heart out of their head, or they're at least combining their head with their heart. That's what I've been seeing. And it's really beautiful, the transformation that's happening. More and more masculine are coming to me and telling me how they feel and the transformations that are occurring. And it's very, it's very promising. Whether you want to be with your twin flame or not, it doesn't really matter. All the masculines, all masculines are awakening on some level. So um, your twin flame is included in that or your soulmate or whatever, your true love. I should just use that term from now on. So this is what, this is like um, how... I guess let's have the intention that, you know, something in this reading is going to res resonate for you, if not all of it. But, um, well, let's just see what happens. I'm going to do actually, um, I do this quick, quick relationship spread. That's like a three to four minute thing. So I'm going to start with that and just say what the masculine thinks or feels about you. And then I'll switch the roles. And let's just see where that takes us. Okay. So I don't, you can't really see what I'm doing. I just shuffled the deck a bunch and then, um, I'm just going to pick it up randomly anywhere because the universe is not like, Oh, you have to do it a particular way for everything to line up. It's like, dude, they're magic. They know how to do anything. They could make this card something one second, turn it over and it's something else the next second. So it's not, the universe is not limited that way. Um, so don't be worried about the way I shuffle or the lack of shuffling or any of the particular stuff. So that's one thing you'll watch. You'll learn in watching my channel is nothing is like black and white like that. If you're black and white, go somewhere else. <laughs> okay. So, oh, okay. I'm going to lay these down first and then I'll explain the story. Okay. So I'm tapping into the collective reading of those who are watching this right now. So that's not, it's not going to resonate for everybody, obviously, but, oh, that's interesting. Oh, oh, all right. Bottom of the deck, bottom of the deck is two of pentacles, two of pentacles is... It talks about vacillating back and forth, trying to make a decision. It could be trying to make a decision, but it's like vacillating back and forth being kind of a little bit fickle. And it's also trying to balance things out. And it's also like movement. It could be like wanting to go on a road trip or something like that. So that's what's driving this energy. And for me, I feel like it's actually balancing everything. I'm surprised that's not the Six of Pentacles because it does have that energy. But there's... Okay, so and then the next couple of cards. Oops. Oh, okay. I feel like this is telling a story. Um, so there's um, two of pentacles balancing out the worries. And there's holes in these because they were a demo deck. <laughs> if you were just wondering what the heck is that hole. Okay, 
So they're balancing the stress that they've been causing themselves that they now realize was a self-imposed prison. And they're balancing out all this healing they've had to do. This is a breakup card for me. The Four of Swords is about like pulling back, resting, and, and kind of recalibrating. Um, going back through who you feel, you know, it's like reassessing. Look it up on Biddy.com. <laughs> it's a really great site to look these things up. But basically, it's like they they take a look at everything all over again and just like their love life from beginning to end. <laughs> all throughout their lives and they try to figure out like what exactly is going to make them the happiest and they're coming into this energy of the king of pentacles which is all about kind of stepping into your power and having the minus touch and feeling abundant and like you can make anything happen so that's great that's what they're balancing right now and that's beautiful in their headspace or what they're actually actively thinking about right now is that this is about gosh darn time you know, this has been a very, very difficult time. I felt betrayed. They felt betrayed. She's felt betrayed. Everybody's felt betrayed at some point. I want a new beginning and I want I want this to be done and over with. I want this difficult time to be over. That's what they're thinking about. And they're thinking about how they can possibly make that happen with you. So in their heart space, they're really wanting, they're tr they've been trying to trust in divine timing of it all and, tr and hoping you're not going anywhere. You know, he's really like looking for temperate waters with you. He doesn't want any fighting or arguing or any of that, um, any of this. You know, he's really trying to balance out any energies between the two of you where you guys used to fight or argue or disagree or differences you have. It's like trying to trying to get on the on common terms and on equal footing and equal um, equilibrium kind of um, in all these different areas where you guys have had. Um, have, have not been working as a team and he wants to um, figure it out with you together or figure it out as best he can. Like, I feel like 80% of the way he wants to figure it out on his own, like how he can make this happen with you. And he's doing things to heal his heart and to heal relationships around him and heal circumstances so that he can come to you and feel really balanced when he's talking to you and bring balance to the situation and also ensure that he's not going to get defensive and upset with you. So, you know, this has all been, this is on his heart. This is his heart space. So um, he's really, um, you know, this is just him in the background work he's been doing. Okay. I'll tell you which card just fell down in a second. <laughs> all right. In his action space, you guys, he's becoming single. Isn't that beautiful? He is like... He's kicking this karmic person off the wheel. Didn't put that on do not disturb. Sorry. One of my friends is like, apparently has a lot to say at the moment. <laughs> so, um, all right. So this is him like, okay, this card is about becoming, it's like doing something on your own and for you. You know, it's like, I want to make this business happen or I want to make this venture happen or I want to go. I want to, since she's all about money, she's got money all around her. It's kind of like he's, he's feeling like I want to figure out a way to go start this new adventure and have plenty of money. And um, also it's about standing in your power as an independent person who um, is single and feels powerful about being single, feels abundant about being single, feels really good about himself. So because of that energy, he's able to like kick that karmic person or those karmic patterns or those current, like some of these guys have been kind of players for a long time. And so he's these player types and these guys who've done a lot of lying and dealt with the, this devil energy, whether it's addictions or what the heck it's been. Um, they're, they're wanting to get rid of that energy once and for all and close that uh, the wheel of fortune is about like closing that cycle and beginning a new one. And I feel like some of these guys are even tapping into um, tapping their into into their intuition, listening to angels, uh, listening to divine guidance. Um, so I'm looking at all these little things that are around it. And it's like I, they're finally paying attention to things in the subtle world a bit. And it's making them feel like they're capable of anything and they're strong and in, in their in their gaining power in this. So. <laughs> This was funny because I was like, what? Because it's like he's manifesting something, right? What's what's he manifesting? Conflict. <laughs> what? 
it. I'm like, what the heck? And then this is an opportunity for conflict. But here's the funny thing about this card in the middle, the blue card. It also means competition. So I feel like what he's doing is he's looking for an opportunity to compete. He wants to be a contender. He knows that the Divine Feminine has... Um, that she's got options and he wants to be one of the one of the bachelors <laughs> and so he's trying to manifest he's trying to think of all the different ways that he could compete with all these other guys and he's just like you know what i'm not gonna let her get away i've been watching her for like a long time now and i see it on the horizon i see that it's about to happen and i know that i can make it happen with this card i know that i can make it happen I got all the tools I need and I'm just starting to feel like a magician who could actually pull off a trick, <laughs> but I just been waiting for the right opportunity to, you know, get rid of those guys. Look at that. It's like, you guys are out of here. So I feel like this is competition driving them forward. Just saying. So what happens? I've lost track of where I'm at. I think this is the future. So what happens is he creates that balance he's been wanting to because this card is all about creating balance <laughs> and going forward, driving something forward in a balanced way. Rapidly forward. This could also mean a road trip also. So you have two cards here that represent road trips. So maybe he's thinking of coming and traveling to see you or maybe even moving. Both of those are movement cards. Uh this card is also a movement card. This is the Knight of Cups. It's about making a romantic gesture. So also, I feel like if he's always said that he would just be your friend or something like that, I feel like it's going to turn romantic. Like he is when he brings this offer, it's going to be a cup of apology. It's going to be a cup of sweetness, playfulness um, and honesty. I feel like he's on that white horse. So he's like pure. There's a certain purity that he's gone through some kind of like a an emotional detoxing period in this time of the eclipse. And now he knows his truth and he's coming with confidence to give a romantic gesture to drive this relationship forward. Finally, um, as a side note, a lot of this is driven by past regrets and disappointments, things that have happened that he feels really regretful about. So. But instead of taking a look at those three cups that have spilled, he's actually willing to turn around and look at the love that he has for her. And he's looking at those two cups and he's thinking, that's what I want. I'm not I'm going to quit dwelling on the past stuff that happened and get over it and look at the two cups I do have and the love I do have and build on those two cups. Um, also, that kind of ties into I think we saw that eight of cups earlier. No, that must have been a private reading I did earlier. OK. Same thing, though. It's happening. They're walking away from the past regret and disappointments. They're finally facing those demons. And they're willing to, you know, offer that apology with that Knight of Cups and offer a romantic gesture. They miss her. They miss her. You know, they feel like, God, I've been left and locked out in the cold for so dang long. It's freezing out here. I just want in by the fire and I know she'll let me in. I know she loves me too. She's been telling me so many different millions of ways. When am I going to get it through my head that I can just walk in the door? And seriously, like she's going to refuse you when you got these like crutches and you're limping out there with a blanket around you. Come on. What kind of woman do you think you're dealing with? <laughs> Gosh, these guys are hilarious. But he's going to be making some kind of a solid offer. He really does believe that you're a gift from God. You know, if you're the feminine watching this. This is like, he he knows this comes from spirit. He knows this comes from God. Like what other, it's like unexplainable how he feels about you. And he's like, I don't get it, but it's strong and I want it bad. So he's following that prompting. All right. Um, okay. So they want me, I think they're wanting me to give like the, the masculines that we just did that reading for um, some advice here. Okay. Oh, six of Raphael. Embrace your inner child, new friends, or rekindled relationships. 
children or childhood. In the traditional tarot, this is the Six of Cups, and the Six of Cups is, is like um, having having sweet memories with someone you have like a childlike connection with. Somebody you can kind of giggle, giggle with or get all giddy around or turn red around or get all flustered and maybe spy on and peek at and wish you could say something to but don't and get all nervous about and all of that cute stuff. So they're trying to help you to see that that is such a rare connection. That's not something that happens every day. And they're, they're just encouraging you to let that be your fuel. Like, this is something special. This is something you're not going to just, like, um, not have the guts to do something about and then regret later, you know, because you're never going to find that or you may not find that ever again. So they're trying to help you to uh, or encourage you. Oh, I just got dreams to pay attention to your dreams right now because... I feel like the angels are bringing you messages in your dreams to let you know how you would get along with someone if you didn't ever take it very far because you were too shy, too whatever you were, um, or too, uh, so, some of some of you have been kind of stubborn and some of you have been all kinds of things, worried about money, worried you're not good enough, worried like, what do I have to offer her and all that nonsense. So, um, but they're saying that what... What happens with dreams is you address subconscious fears, basically. That's what they're about, addressing subconscious fears. And the, the feelings that you have in the dreams are more important than who are in the dreams. Because, like, I had a dream about my ex-husband, and he was very um, narcissistic is a nice way to put it. <laughs> and we were together for a long time, but it's like I've had no desire to be back with him. I never would ever, ever be back with him. But I had a dream the other night that we were together again, and it was totally harmonious, and everything was erased. Our entire past was gone. Nothing mattered anymore, and we were just really happy. We weren't having sex, but we were, like, happy, really happy. And And I was like, huh, that's, like, kind of, like, like, we were incredibly sexual. So it was like, that's like the opposite of, of what we were. But what it told me was I thought, well, how did I feel in the dream? And how was that something that healed me? And it was just like, it wasn't even anything to do with him. It was about that I was so scared for five years. I have not dated because I've been so scared. I mean, not recently have I been so scared, but has it been because of the fear? But um, you know, I was, I was scared for like a really long time to ever get involved with somebody like him again. You know, he really frightened me. So the dream showed me that I've made tremendous progress to where I could have a very harmonious relationship and sex wouldn't be the center of it necessarily. Just be harmonious and awesome and, and comfortable and great. You know, it'd feel healthy, really healthy. So that's how you got to kind of look at and analyze dreams. And that's what they're there to do is to help you to see how far you've come or to see what kind of insecurities that you still have. So if you imagine somebody's like cheating on you in your dreams or something like that, it's probably having more to do with the fact that you are afraid of somebody cheating on you. So it's all about you. Whatever's in your dream is like all about you. So that was just a very, very good sign for me that I'd done a lot of healing. Um, and then also I had another dream about somebody that I like. And um, so a lot of times what happens is that your, your, both of your higher selves will come together to give you kind of a picture of what it would be like to be with that person. You get to like kind of put put on the relationship for size and see what you think and see what you feel about it. So those, those types of dreams as well. But just pay attention to your dreams right now. It just seems like that's kind of a big thing right now. The Empress. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. So <sighs> they're encouraging you that when you're going after your empress, like just start taking action. I mean, I can't tell you how many feminists are just like, why doesn't he just talk to me? Why doesn't he just text? Why doesn't he just call? And it's true. And I know that you guys have valid concerns and fears. And it's like, you don't want to look like an idiot when you call. You want to look like you know what you're talking about and whatnot. But honestly, like you could you could you could come all messed up. You could totally come all messed up and they're not even going to judge you or care. They're just going to be happy to hear your voice, period. You know, so get over those kind of insecurities and just just talk to her. <laughs> um, 
And whatever plans that you've had that you've like been daydreaming about or whatnot that could happen between the two of you, start putting those into action. Start start going off on um, on your faith. Take a leap of faith and start making something happen in that area. And I promise you, you will be supported. When it comes to true love, the universe totally conspires to bring all that kind of thing together because it raises the vibration vibration of the whole planet. It makes everybody happy and really helps like go against um, all of this nonsense that's going on in the world that we watch on the news. Don't watch the news, by the way. I know you do because you're the masculine, but the news is just going to pollute your head. <laughs> um, Page of Gabriel. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. <laughs> And I'm just going to show you how big this deck is. There are so many cards in this deck. This is just a huge Hurricane deck. And those are the three cards that came out. So it's like, go on an adventure. Take a risk. Go after what you feel passionate about. Get creative. And you will be supported, in other words. And pay attention to your dreams. <laughs> okay. So um, let me see about how long that is. All right. Um, what do you guys want me to do here? All right. So I guess for the masculines, <laughs> this is going to be, I don't know about this. These are love bomb cards. This is what they look like. And there's also like tons of them. See, lots of love bomb cards. So I just want to just give you some cards that your feminine would, so things that your feminine would like to tell you right now, even though you guys are not in communication yet. If you're watching this video, you're probably not in communication yet. This is for people in separation. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this because if you're talking to your partner, then you've got clarity. <laughs> That's how it works. So if you're, you know, not talking to your feminine, which you aren't, then this is what she would be. This is what she would say to you if she could. Wow. I admire your integrity. Are you living in your integrity? She can see it. Oh, my God. I love you. <laughs> Casey didn't know she does. She does. Why? Ask her. She'll tell you. I admire your patience. Now, this is hilarious because so many feminines are like driven crazy by this journey and how long it takes. But you know what? I know that there's a part of her, too, that's like. I actually admire that he's doing this the right way, that he's taking it. He's being thorough about his growth. He's being methodical about his growth. And he's been cutting away all this time to make progress so that, you know, we can be together and in a way that will stick. <laughs> After all those cards I just pulled for you guys, I'm excited for your big chance. Wishing you the best. <laughs> <laughs> I admire your patience just came up again that is so big all right so I feel like there's something along with that what's up with that okay Isis rising sun is what I got a dark phase and struggle and struggle is over a new phase is upon you one of hope, glory, light, and triumph. It's one through boldness and persistence. You have been through much, and now victory is upon you, beloved. For the divine solar child, a new consciousness within you is born. <laughs> I'm sorry. But that's just, that's perfect. Perfect. The Divine Masculines, you guys are awakening. I'm telling you, you guys are coming into your power. You're being encouraged to be bold and courageous and go after what you want. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. I'm going to look forward to watching this again, especially that part. <laughs> okay, so there's these abundance cards too. So I'm just going to pull one of these. And then I think we're done with the masculine part. I may split this video up into two. Otherwise, it'll be just one big, long video for both of you. But all right, for the masculine. 
abundance mindset. If you think of your abundance, um, oh, I need to show you the card. But if you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. Wow, so true. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. That is so true, you guys. You guys are never possibly ever going to be ready enough for this relationship. You are always going to feel insecure about it in some way, shape, or form, and so is she. You, there's, it's, it's kind of like, you know, you talk about people who want to have kids or whatever. They're like, we'll do it when, we'll do it if, we'll do it when all circumstances are perfect and everything. It's just like, you guys could die tomorrow. You don't want to... She could get swept up any second. You really don't want that to happen. If you love her, do something about this, you know? Gosh, it's like, um, <laughs> I feel like my guides are cracking up right now. They are so making fun of me right now. Pay yourself first. Make yourself your most important financial obligation um, by setting aside a portion of your income every time you're paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that, you, that you'll have savings to invest in your future and your your present and your future. That's what this looks like. Pay yourself first. But I think that that's also meaning um, you, sh you should listen to my um, last, the Satori show. If you put in Amy, Amy Satori, the Satori show, or just put in the Satori show on YouTube, listen to that show because it talks about, you know, people taking a risk on a new adventure and like not caring what anybody thinks, you know, not, not caring um what your parents or your brothers and sisters or like anybody nobody else should ever have a way in on what's right for you what's best for you it's time for you to like stand up and be a man and do what you want and only what you want and if there are people getting in your way of that set your boundaries and set them clear and if there's a karmic still hanging around buzzing around buzzing around trying to manipulate you like you really want to tolerate that kind of behavior <laughs> Did you hear that? It's like, no, 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 no. It's time for no nonsense right now, guys. We're raising our vibration of the planet. <laughs> and that means we're like, things are becoming kind of um, black or white in a sense. It's non-duality, but it's called, kind of like nonsense or no nonsense. You're able to see the BS like super clearly now. We're coming to a point where we're all going to be like telepathic. So don't mess around. If you're like a prince, don't go, don't go messing around in the, in the pig pen, running around in the mud and stinky stuff. What are you doing? Let the, you know, let people who have that kind of manipulative behavior not get you down by giving you guilt trips and stupid things like that. Like, seriously, like what in the world? Um, don't let anybody hold you back, no matter who, what they're saying, what kind of guilt trips they show or anything. Just be wiser, be wise enough to say, I care enough about to, myself to not fall for that BS. You know, these people are just trying to pull me back so that I'm more like them. And because they're jealous, because they don't have what I have or what I'm about to have. They can go get it too. <laughs> You know, encourage them, inspire them. Here, watch me. I'm going to go live my best life. Then you can do it too. <laughs> you know, you can follow in my footsteps. Don't follow me, but follow in my footsteps and do what I do. Because that's how you're going to find your love too. And that's how you're going to find your best life too. Lead by example. Lead by example and set good, healthy boundaries because you do not, you don't, you don't want to like muddy your waters. You've got like crystal clear water in this new life you're going to create. That's going to be like refreshing, incredible water you can drink. You don't want to pollute it by throwing an old, ugly, smelly boot in your water. That's your karmic. That's your person who gives you a hard time and tells you you shouldn't be doing this or that because you'll never, you'll never be anything or amount to anything and you're never good enough. No. Okay, they're, they're saying one one last card. Oh, the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is getting hit, by, getting hit by Cupid's arrows and going forward in something fast. You guys have been getting this a lot in your spreads lately. I do these spreads for um, for the ladies, for the men, I guess, divine feminines anyway. Um, 
This is the card that they, oh, look at that. Isn't that funny? The universe kind of snuck in another one. Again, with the Ace of Coins, like offer her a new beginning, a commitment, something serious at this point. Your feminine's not going to mess around with cute little gestures. Get that clear. She needs a solid offer. So don't be messing around. Go after this thing. I also call this like the popcorn card because it's like a little piece of popcorn goes pop. And then another one pop up and then pop, 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 pop. Pretty soon you get a big old bowl of yummy popcorn. So make it happen, guys, however you need to. Get over your fears and get courageous and bold and go after it. Okay. All right. Now we have to huh, go into the feminine space. The feminine space. Hmm. <sighs> <clears throat> I'm gonna need some tea after that. <laughs> mm. That's good stuff. Okay. <sighs> All right, girls. How do you feel about your men right now? What's going on for you and your men? Man, men sometimes. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh. Well, all right. Okay. Dang. <laughs> I gotta digest this for a second. Okay. Okay. Wait. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Underneath the deck. You know, it's, oh my gosh, this is, oh my gosh, they love playing with me. Okay, so under the deck, usually there's like a card under the deck that represents the theme for this whole entire reading. And under the deck was the lovers. That's having a choice of more than one lover. That's having many suitors. That's having bachelors <laughs> and several of them to choose from. So, or at least more than one. So this is driving the it's the theme for the rest of the reading and did i not just say these feminines they're going to be having some choices here all right so at the bottom of the deck she's wanting an offer she is wanting exactly what the masculines are being encouraged to give at this time isn't that synchronistic um because she believes that you guys have a bright future she has a lot of hope and faith in you guys. And she really feels strongly that you guys can just be vulnerable and authentic with each other and naked with each other and comfortable with that. She wants to take this to the next level. She'd like it to even be marriage, perhaps. But at least more than friends. You know, just taking it to the next level, something you guys could celebrate and feel really good about. Like, you know, if you're not going to be with your twin flame, sure nice when you can just be friends and when you could talk freely to each other that feels nice too any kind of energy where you have where things are reciprocated and honest and kind-hearted and playful and and you know sweet then that's that's a good thing a positive step in the right direction now the one that you want to be intimate with the one you really want to want to be with whoever that might be this is taking it to the next level in, in creating some kind of like a, a solid foundation or something you can kind of build on that you can kind of celebrate. It's like a milestone feeling happy. Um, she wants she's being courageous in some ways because she's feeling like she has some new adventure she's getting into now, too. And she's willing to take a risk. I mean, some girls who haven't been willing to date for a while are actually going out on dates Good for them, you know. They're getting their their uh, libido back. They're getting their their power back. They're feeling good. They're feeling frisky. They're feeling fun, and they're willing to to take a risk and be courageous. But they also feel like they want this from their man. 
They want him to step it up and be courageous and show up like that, like a valiant knight, like here to save the day. Not that she needs saving, but you know, how much better is it when you don't need saving and he shows up like your knight? And then I got these, uh, the king and queen of swords. So when you get a couple in a spread, that means that they see you as the perfect couple, like a great combination. And these guys are all about no bullshit, cutting things away, cutting things out of your life that no longer serve you. These guys have already been doing this for a while. You masculines are more like a little bit more novice about it. You guys you know, still feel a little insecure or guilty when you're, when you're, you know, doing the right thing. But the feminines, <clears throat> they've already been in that energy for a while and they can show you a thing or two about it. And they um, also believe you can get there too. And all that's going to take is honesty because these, this king and queen in particular are all about, they're no BS, but they're about communication and clear communication and setting strong boundaries and being powerful people. So that's what's driving this whole thing, but especially the lover's card. So we'll go into more of that in a second here. All right. <clears throat> the, in her headspace is she could be spying. She could be spying. Is that her again? It's a different friend. <laughs> okay, so this could be this could be spying. But it could also be just wanting to um, say her truth, no matter how, no matter how it comes out. It's like, oh my gosh, can we just talk? Can we just text? Can we just like, I would do anything to just communicate and see where you're at, and see where you're, what the heck is on your mind? Like, what are you thinking? Um, that's how she's feeling about her masculine right right now, and she's wanting to talk about new beginnings. And she's also see that little cat that represents like hidden secrets, you know. And that wand she's holding, you know, just saying, she's holding a wand and she's determined and she wants to take action. This queen, she goes after what she wants and she feels fiery about it. Um, so, but she, this could all, this is a spy card as well. So, and it's a messenger card, but I think what it is, well, she, some of them are watching, but some of them are also aware that you're watching them. So she's she's really wanting to, I feel this, she's just really wanting to have a conversation about a new beginning. Is it or is it not going to happen? Are we going to do this or not? <clears throat> In her heart space, she's got the Ten of Cups and the Six of Coins. Now, I mentioned the Six of Coins earlier, didn't I? I can't get the hang of this, stupid. Like, weren't. So anyway, the, the Six of Coins is all about balancing out an imbalance which was also in the masculine spread so both of them have in mind that they know that there's a discrepancy there they know that one is giving more than the other and the masculine's been been flat out kind of i mean if he's been selfish in an area it's this it's that he's kept a lot to himself that he's scared to share with her but she would take really well if he were to just honestly come to her with you know just the truth He's not going to ruin his chances by something that he says. <clears throat> and she wants him to know that as well with that new beginning card and that page of swords. She believes that he could be that bright future, that you guys would feel like totally fulfilled with each other. She really believes that and she wants to tell you that and she wants to like communicate that with you the feminines really want to have that equal give and take of reciprocation text messages that go back and forth conversations that happen back and forth <laughs> you know i feel this what do you think how about this how about that it doesn't have to be dating it doesn't yet it doesn't have to be really anything but just reciprocation <laughs> just basic reciprocation but she really does feel like it's going to lead to this happy, this happy family life. If, if you guys can equal this out, if you can get it balanced out. All right. In her action space, her intuition is telling her to no longer procrastinate, like no more worrying 
put worry in that you're not good enough, that you're not pretty enough, that he doesn't like you for whatever reasons. It's unrequited love that you've got too much weight on you. He's not going to like you how you are, like all those insecurities and things. You guys know you're doing that to yourselves. It's like they're no longer messing around with this anymore. They're just like, screw it. You know, if he doesn't like me how I am, I guess, then I'm just going to have an alternative. And over here, she's getting in her feminine power with the high priestess and she's listening to her intuition. Her intuition is like, you know, telling him, poop or get off the pot, dude, do something or not, because I'm going and I'm jumping out of this building. The building's been burning for a while and I'm out. I am out and I'm going to go live somewhere else because this castle's crumbling. So she's like standing in her power and being like, I'm not going to worry about a thing. I'm just going to stay in this high vibration as the priestess. And I'm just going to stay strong and I'm going to let the building crumble if it's going to crumble. <clears throat> so, and it's ha about having faith too. So she knows she's going to bring this 10 of cups with whoever is going to reciprocate here. Okay. She's like, at this point, I don't really care who that is. <laughs> it's like somebody who's courageous enough to want a new beginning are going to be quite rewarded. <laughs> and in the overall current space, she's wanting an offer. And she's wanting an offer that could lead to ultimate fulfillment that could last a lifetime. She's thinking long term here, you guys. Like, she's thinking this is like my wifey card, too. She's thinking marriage. She wants that offer. She wants somebody to make some kind of a gesture toward her that makes her feel valued. You know, the masculine's been ignoring her for so long that she's just like in a dry desert, just like just a drop of water. <laughs> but it's also like she's created all this for herself. Too. She knows how to get this from everyone and everything and everybody but the masculines. But the masculines are sneaking up. You know, and she's just sitting there. She's just sitting there all pretty on her throne, just waiting for this, for this, that knight in shining armor guy, wherever he went, to pop up in the picture. And she's loving herself like never before. She's accepting herself like never before. She's in that high priestess energy, being intuitive and knowing everything is going to happen just as it should. And she's having faith in that. She's like, if I stay, stay in this high vibrational state, and stay in my power and stay as the goddess, all these wonderful things will come that will balance the situation and bring honesty. Enough with the hiding, enough with not knowing what's going on. And... Um, you know, no more sneaking around, no more being manipulative, no more game playing. It's time to get all of this balanced out. And since this came up in the masculine and the feminine, I would say that they might be going on a road trip together. And I've actually been getting that on a few readings. I don't think that's a really bad idea at all. I think that getting away and spending a few days together, getting to know each other really, is going to alleviate a lot of stress for everybody. So, advice for the feminines. I wouldn't, oh, that was loud. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like the same thing because the feminines are really going on new adventures too. And at this point in the game, those that are still in separation, I think a lot of the feminines are thinking about moving toward the masculines. That's just um, what I'm getting because the women are just, I know I say women loosely because it's the feminines, could be men. Um, but the feminines are just like, you know what? Gosh, it's like that. I no longer want to procrastinate. I'm done with worrying and, and wondering what the hell is going on in this situation. And I'm out of here. You know, I'm, I'm going somewhere else. I'm starting a new life somewhere else. And I'm not going to care about, you know, anything but like what I truly want. Justice. Justice. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. She's doing what she feels is right for her. Whatever that is. Good for her. She's standing in her power. She's not going to put up with anything anymore. She's serious. 
And she really wants the scales balanced. This is also a card about balancing the scales. You know, she's not... She's not want, wanting anything more than just... It's almost like... I don't know. She just wants to make peace with it. She just She just wants to know where she stands. She just wants to know what's up. She's okay with you with it being like, let's just be friends or whatever. But she's got to know. And and if there's a part of you that's totally lying to yourself as the masculine and in denial, it's time to get honest. You know, justice needs to be served in this situation. So be honest with her. Okay, feminines. The chariot, girlfriend. Determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. She's all about she's all about her success right now and making this happen for herself. And she's going to do it with or without her masculine. She's charging forward. But this was also in the masculine's spread, if you remember. A different looking card, but it means the same thing. This is really pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's her. She's like that angel. And <laughs> she's like... I don't know what the, if that's a unicorn. That's that's a dang unicorn, you guys. <laughs> I did not know that was going to be on there. You know, I'm all about unicorns. So that's her. She's this angel. And I just made a uh, Naked Truth video with Laura on um, Earth Angels. I would definitely watch that video if I were you guys. Anyway, these gals are going forward. They're making their life happen. And they're doing so in a very powerful way. So if you want on that cherry, you better get on quick. Because she has taken off. And uh, girls, good for you. I mean, they're they're like really going after their careers and making things happen. And I'm just really proud of you guys. Those that are making it happen and taking the risks. I mean, a lot of you have been calling into the Satori show lately. And you're just like being bold and brave. You know, just kind of like leading the way. The women lead the way at first through this stage of things. And then the men are just like, holy hell. What the, what are they doing? Are you kidding me? Well, okay, all right. I had better, better get my stuff together and go, you know? Queen of Michael. You know exactly what to do. The, ben the benefit of experience. <laughs> A time for your career rather than relationships. Oh my gosh, no way. That's crazy. Yeah, these feminines, they're a little more advanced than the masculines hate to say. It's true. And if you, if you think you're the advanced one, then you're probably the feminine, but you're male. <laughs> Just saying, at this stage in the game, and in, in the way that it works with Twin Flames and <clears throat> any divine partnership is the woman or the feminine one advances uh, emotionally faster than the masculine one. So, um, so, yeah, they have experience under them. They've got maturity. They've got a lot of wisdom behind what they're doing, and they know what they're doing. And they're no longer waiting. They're, they're taking off. Their careers are taking off. They're just, like, in a really beautiful place. And the eclipse has caused some of this. This eclipse energy has been crazy, man. It's, like, making you really look at the truth of things. <clears throat> it's, like, I can no longer lie to myself, and I can no longer keep things lingering that aren't right, you know. Um it's getting it's it's breaking us all down to ultimate authenticity and truth. Gratitude list. Counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who you are, who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of the universe. <clears throat> so feminists, this is your advice. Be grateful for what you do have. Don't dwell on what you don't have. Every night before you go to bed, instead of counting sheep, count your blessings. I love sunsets. I love big fluffy blankets. I love warmth. I love, you know, tropical settings. I love whatever it is that you love, even if it's not in your life right now. Love the hell out of it. Every, every bit of it. That which you don't have, that which you do have, that, but that you want. But make it as if you love that already. Like, I love the ocean, so I'm not living on the ocean right now, but I could still love the ocean. You know what I mean? Things that you know that you love, just love them. And list off as many things as you can. List 
lists so many that you can't even like that you'll one time I did it and I felt like I was going to float off my bed. I felt so blissed out. It was amazing. It's a really great energy to be into to attract everything that you're wanting to attract right now. All right. Um, attracting, not chasing. Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. That's where they're at right now. Um, when I think about my masculine, I send him blessings. I just send him lots of love. That's it. You know, if I'm feeling inspired, divine guidance tells me, okay, do this, do that, do this, do that. Okay, pull back. I'm like going moment by moment by what I feel guided to do. But don't chase, don't keep, don't keep putting energy into something that's not giving back, you know, but I do feel that the feminines are actually already coming to this space or are already in this space. So this is just confirmation to be there, but definitely listen to your guidance. Um, there was something else in that, though. Attracting is all about um, really being in the moment, you know, and just trusting everything's okay. When you're trusting everything's okay, just beautiful things happen and are drawn to you. All right, feminines, we're going to pull an ISIS card. Whoa. Maybe 10,000. Okay. Here we go. The goddess of 10,000 names. Oh, that's quite the goddess. Okay, if you have... Oh, if you have felt constrained by a role, name, or identity and are wishing for assistance in growing beyond it, or if you've sensed a new role or identity calling you into greater expression and would love some divine help in that growth, this oracle indicates the help you need is already with you, urging your growth from within. I think part of this is just like them feeling like, what is this whole stupid twin flame thing? I give up. So many of these feminines are just totally fed up with using that name anymore. And they're just like, whatever comes to me in whatever name it is, whatever guy it is, if it's a high vibrational match and it's something that I feel like I could spend the rest of my life doing, and this seems like a really good high vibe person too, um, and this feels like a really good match for me. You know, I, I um, in the last Satori show at the beginning, I actually gave an exercise on how to weigh out different bachelors and who to choose according to what your divine guidance counsel tells you. <clears throat> pillar of light pillar of light burning bright earth star below soul star above burn away all that is not light transform all into unconditional love star of isis descend your blessing and peace without end grace me now with peace and protection completely embraced by divine perfection see everything is perfect you guys because it is um, I would definitely like I, that exercise. There's one more card they said. Uh, oh, yeah. The exercise that I recommend for this, for getting in this space, and it also helps with the gratitude, is to say, thank you, God, that my masculine isn't here yet. Thank you, God, that my masculine's a scaredy cat. Thank you, God, <laughs> that he doesn't know what to do with himself when it comes to me. Thank you, God. That he's not reciprocating. Thank you, God, that I have to do all this on my own. Thank you, God, that I've been completely humiliated and betrayed and hurt and left for dead. Thank you, God, that he, you know, has annihilated my heart. Thank you, God, that whatever you you say, say it to the the most negative way that you possibly can at the top of the paper. And then you list at least 10 to 15 different things as to benefits and advantages as to why that's a really good thing that that's happening or has happened to you. This is going to heal all these issues. And when it heals all these issues, you're going to be much more, it's not like condoning his behavior necessarily. <clears throat> it's about realizing the humanity in all of us and also seeing the good in everything that does happen. There's nothing that ever really truly goes wrong. It's all for your advancement and your growth twin flames have been going for so like forever forever there's always been twin flames and it's always gone this way don't you think there's a design behind it that there's a good reason 
that he rejects her, pushes her away, forgets about her, walks away, and doesn't forget about her. But, you know, don't you think there's a reason for this whole song and dance? And that when they come together, it's just glorious and incredible, and they're celebrating. So just see the good in all of it. See that it's all, you know, see the growth behind it. See that in the things, especially in the things that you feel like are going wrong, you're actually being very supported and loved in that. So get to that point. Okay, here's the one more that they're talking about. Okay, truths unveiled. There are times when appearances of people, places, and things are deceptive. You will sense this when something feels uncomfortable within you. When you notice feelings or anxiety or doubt within you, you may think there is something wrong with you, but actually you are intuitively sensing that all is not as it appears. Trust what you feel, not what appears to be. I think what this is about is like with all these choices that are coming up for the feminines and the masculines, this is a time of discernment. This is a time of figuring out like who truly has your back and who truly is a good person with good intentions that wants to date you. And who's just messing around with you and trying to hold you back from what from your happiness because they're not happy. So this is, I think, a union energy for both of you to keep in mind going forward. Be discerning. It's like the devil's very attractive. Very attractive. And can look just like you. So just be smart. Be smart and, and think about their intentions. Feel into it intuitively. Take them to your counsel. Ask your divine guidance counsel to help you figure out who truly is, is the best for you. Oh, love bomb cards, of course. So feminines, this is what this is what he would say to you if you were here right now. And if he could say his honest truth. Mm, all right. <laughs> You're one of the most reliable people I know. Isn't it true, though? It's like, no matter what, the masculine's always been able to defend on, depend on, and defend <laughs> I guess his feminine, it's like he knows that she is always there, that she always has his back. And no matter what, he always has her to go to. But isn't that the woman you want to marry? Isn't that the woman you want on your side in life? Isn't she the one that, you know, whether it's through a friendship or what, it's like, this is the one that you want. So why is she being treated like she's the least important thing to you by ignoring her and ghosting her? That's how she takes it anyway. Your creativity is inspiring. That's what he's saying to you. And a lot of uh, a lot of feminines really are getting creative and adventurous. And I think your men are seeing that. And they're just pretty inspired and pretty excited by the things that you're doing. And how you've taken the bull by the horns and been an example. And made some things happen creatively. Beautiful. More than once, kind words from you have made my day. I know that resonated with like a ton of you right now. It's like, I know this. I admire your kindness. You know, especially with how they've treated you. I appreciate that you've been kind back. That you haven't ghosted them back. That you are always receptive when they do reach out. You're kind, you're loving. That's what makes you different than those karmics. Even though karmics like make them feel like they're more powerful and that they're smarter. You know, that's just them boosting their egos. <laughs> How fitting. I admire your integrity. Our karmics don't have integrity. You do. You stand out to them. They will be reaching out. But... You don't care because <laughs> you're just taking it like it is, you know, you're just taking a look at whoever appears to you right now. How much love do they bring? How much authenticity do they bring? You know, how can they enhance your life? So be in your power, girls. This is a beautiful time and the men are stepping it up. So I'm just I'm really proud of all of you. <laughs> you guys are all just doing so awesome. Um. Okay. Just one more thing. There's always just one more thing. Okay, so anybody who works with crystal grids, I know I talked about rocks earlier. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. 
Sometimes you can make a rock grid and all you basically have to do is just have intentions and set rocks in a circle and not even have to set them in a circle. Just get the rocks, put them in your pockets or whatever. Just have the intention of whatever the crystal grid is. And crystal grid could be like bringing in more money, bringing in more harmony, having the girls in your office all get along really well. And I mean, it could be just about anything. And everything is a placebo in life. It's really just a prayer. So however you want to look at it. Um, but the card that I picked is forever. <laughs> You know, I think everybody right now is just taking a look at what they truly want forever for the rest of their lives, potentially. This is the person you can do that with. So get a red jasper, a cornelian, a petrified wood, red coral, and septarian um, nodule shield. Do something like this. I'll hold it there for a minute. Oops, let me move my finger. I'll try to get it centered. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> okay, so if you want to make a grid, this is the one to make at this time. All right, now I'm just going to tap into an intuitive message for both of you. <clears throat> you guys are blessed and protected. Do not have any fear because you are being, this is being ushered in by the universe that wants it to happen. You don't, fear is of the other side, okay? So either it's like, I mean, I hate to get all good and evil on you, but God or the universe really wants this to happen, this type of love. This is the kind of love that's playful, sweet, kind, loving, harmonious. It's, it's, it's a beautiful kind of love where people work together, act as a team, and they grow and they respond to one another. And it's just, it's, it's gorgeous once they come into union. So the universe needs these people to come together, right? Whether it's twin flames, true love, soulmates, whatever it is. This kind of love that I address in these videos is what the universe wants. And so there's another side going, but you're not good enough. But you're, you know, your mom has always said this about you, and I think she's probably right. Or who do you think you, you know, you're messing with here? She's way better than you. She's way smarter than you. You know, you're going to look like a fool when you go to talk to her. You know, or she's going to rip you a new one, or she's going to, you know, whatever it is, whatever those fears are. And feminines, <laughs> What's he going to do when he sees my body without my clothes on? You know, that's a big one for a lot of you. Or what's he going to see? What's he going to think when he sees that I'm such a goofball? What's he going to think when he sees this about me or that about me? You know, but get over that stuff. Whatever your fear is or your insecurity is, get over it. Because it's all just an obstacle trying to keep world peace from happening <laughs> in a in kind of a weird way you know it's like it's like peace is happening for the world the vibration is raising on the planet all over the place and now this is through work and it's through relationships and it could be through riding horses doing what you feel creative and passionate about and in your career and in, in so many ways relationships is just a part of that but it's a very it's a part of us that really, really touches our hearts very deeply. And it's one that should be prioritized. So at this point in the history of those still in separation, this is like um, this is like rushing into battle now, <laughs> facing your demons. And what's really funny is it, it kind of reminds me of, oh, I don't want to blow the ending. Okay, but it reminds me of you getting all worked up, right? And you got your armor on and you got your sword and you're like, I'm just going to open that damn door. I'm just going to open the door and just see what happens when I do it, you know? And you open the door and you got your sword raised and ready and you go charging in there. And, you know, there's like kittens and puppies and like this puppy comes up and licks your face. And like, <laughs> that's what you're rushing into here, you guys. Your fears for nothing. So, anyway, 
Have yourselves a beautiful morning, afternoon, or evening when you hear this, and I hope you got something out of this, hopefully something that really shifted for you. And so I guess we'll catch you in the next video whenever I'm inspired to do that one. <laughs> Happy February. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Valentine's Day is coming up. It's the perfect opportunity, you guys. It happens once a year. And it would mean everything to your feminine if you do something. I'm not talking about taking her out to a fancy dinner either. It can just be a sweet text or a phone call or just doing something special for her. So if you don't have the, you know, the strength enough to really make something happen at this time, at least reach out to her, okay? And Divine Feminines don't expect that. Don't expect it. Just because you don't, you know, it's like I'm all about getting your hopes up. But just, I mean, at this point, pretty much plan on going out with somebody else for Valentine's Day. <laughs> if you hear from your masculine, then that would be just incredible. But make yourself happy for Valentine's Day. Maybe make it all about you. Do something really special for yourself. Buy yourself flowers. Get yourself a card and mail it to yourself or something. Don't mope. Whatever you do, don't mope. <laughs> all right. So... I'm going to end there. Oh, and let me do a light language blessing for you guys in your union. So I want you to just think about this person that you want to be with. And I'm going to send a blessing that everything happened for everyone's highest good. That the lessons, the appropriate lessons will be learned. The doors will be opened. The hearts will be softened. That everything, everything will come in alignment just as it should with just who it should go with. Okay, or that at least some healing can happen between you and this person that you're picturing, okay? Ama ai kan chan sa de bor o na kite hale huma o ma a kain sa asha se te na pa o la pa ai kan at sa na pa ai ho um bo kan chan sa te de a la bor o na kite ka hale ina don sa te pe sho zum be na um, they actually said that <laughs> just when you thought it was over, they said to pull out two romance cards and what in there. And again, I'm shuffling. I don't know what's about to come out here, but this is where we're ending. Maybe this will be one for each of you. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> Flirt. And wedding. <laughs> You flirt, you might, or yeah, if you flirt, you might get a wedding. <laughs> flirt. Keep things light and playful. You know, don't make it all big and heavy and don't talk about big subjects right off the bat when you guys first start talking. Just keep it surfacey for a little bit and keep an open mind. Everything will work out, you guys. <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> And I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye. <laughs>